Hey everyone, I got a spicy one for you today. We're diving into a head-to-head -head comparison of Riot's two juggernauts, Valorant and League of Legends. That's right, get out of here, TFT. See you later, Runeterra. You're not important enough. Now, whether you're a diehard fan of one of these games or just curious to find out who really does have the galaxy brain, I've got you covered. Now, there are five different criteria that we will be covering, so if you think something wasn't covered properly in one of them, just wait. There are subtleties and stuff that I'll go over in another. So, I have a lot of time in League, and that's maybe half, and a lot less time in Valorant. But, I have made sort of do my research and take my lessons from this talking banana. I did this for two reasons. One, I wanted to make sure I wasn't missing a lot of the subtleties of the strategies, but that's not just it. I also, uh, didn't want to keep bottom fragging in every game I was playing in. So without further ado, give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. Oh yeah, one more thing. Now we can argue all day about pro strategy, team comps, combos, but that isn't really what either of these games are really like for a majority of the player base. Let me get this straight. At the highest level, these games are equally difficult and everyone's amazing and awesome and they get good night kisses from their homies. I'm going to be talking about what it's like for us pleb. Oh my god, I'm so bad. A low elo trash what it really takes to download this game and get good so what you need to do to actually just be competent in the game nay competent good at the game now it is weird saying this but the games are similar in the way that they're designed they both have 5v5 gameplay unique characters each having three abilities and an ultimate and each game is designed to take around 20 to 30 minutes give or take how close the game is. But with one game being a first person tactical shooter and the other being a MOBA, a majority of everything else is different. And this may lead to the decision being quite difficult, but if you don't agree, let me know in the comments below. Now, the first thing that we're talking about is gameplay mechanics. Each game you play one champion or agent, each with unique abilities. If you are just learning the game or wanting to get better, you'll usually just stick with one character, so we'll use that as our baseline. Honestly, in both situations, it doesn't take too long to learn how how to start using their abilities in optimal ways. But there is one thing that separates the two games, and this is why Valorant is going to be taking the first point, and that is aim. League of Legends, you have 180 degree aim, and your abilities can be quite wide, and honestly, learning to hit them isn't too bad. In Valorant, you have an FPS aim, 360 degrees with this tiny little crosshair. You also have movement and spray inaccuracies, and just learning aim takes a lot of time. There are entire other games dedicating to get you better at aiming. I had to even change my mouse settings and put in hours and hours and hours into the aim lab to get minorly better at my crosshair placement. Then stuff like this still happens. And unlike League, where you can kind of just learn on the fly, you actually have to train separately from the game to actually really get good at your aiming. So one point for Valorant. Now this does lead me to my next point, which is going to be the strategic depth of the games. One thing that I did learn from watching 40, 50 hours of this talking banana is that in Valorant, just having better aim can climb you to gold and even a little bit above. Everyone below gold, you're not ready to learn strategy. You're not ready to learn utility. You're not ready to think. You're not there yet. You need to be able to move shoot people like a normal human being. Now I'm not saying that there isn't strategies in place, but when you're learning to climb, you really just have to learn how to aim. Once you get to that point, there's a lot of strategies on using your abilities in game, where they can be used best, the guns you might use for different situations. But with the agent pool being a lot smaller and just being able to learn default usage for your early game abilities, it can really carry you super far. Now with League, aim doesn't really get you very far. You need to be able to know exactly what you're doing and what your champion is able to do versus your opponent. And with 168 different champions, there is a lot of matchups to learn. You also have to select runes before every match based on what your champion needs and your matchups, different item combinations that you can put together, different ways to level your abilities to maximize your matchup. There's just far, far more to learn to know how to play correctly and how to change up how you're playing to adjust to your enemy. I'm gonna give a point back to Lee. Next up, I'm gonna talk about the game understanding, the game objective. In Valorant, it's pretty straightforward. Go to a site, plant the bomb, hope it explodes. 
I know Valorant players, just wait. With League, you do have a ton of different objectives to consider when you're playing the game. You have Neutral Camps, Towers, Grubs, Drakes, Rift, Inhib, Baron, and finally the Nexus. And the game can change dramatically based on what objectives you get. Now with there being so many objectives, you have to know where to rotate to, where to be at each time, find out which objectives are best at the time, we find out which ones you can deprioritize. So I'm gonna give another point to League. But there is something that I did want to discuss, and that is the map designs. League has one map. It's going to be the same every time, well, almost every time. There is minor adjustments that can be made based on the different Drake Soul and Baron, but those are really minor differences. In Valorant, there are 13 different maps all needing to be learned. You need to know each map in and out to really be able to perform at any capacity, where you need to know where the best places are to place your abilities, where all the threat angles might be, the best places to plant the spike for the most optimal post-plant scenarios. Now, I'm not saying you don't have to go default every time, but it is best to learn these things to be able to climb and up your game. I'm going to be giving another point to Valorant, tying it up. Now, before we break this tie, please subscribe if you're liking this video and let's get back into it. Last up, I'm going to be talking about the learning curve, and this is for all the marbles, for the victory, and it's a bit of a combination of everything we talked about before, but how well is someone able to pick up this game and be competent at it, or even get good at it, and this is going to be tough. Valorant, you have agents to learn, different guns, all different maps, your setups, and most importantly, your aim. In League, we have a lot of different champions, lane matchups, builds, combos, and other different game mechanics. For this, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to give the point to League and the win, but let me explain. While there is a ton of strategy in Valorant, once you get to higher elos, you can get really far by just aim alone and decent strategy. Aiming is extremely labor intensive to get better at. Practicing good gun mechanics can also be very difficult, but it's easy to identify and easy to start improving on. With League, you also have to be mechanically solid, but there is so much more to learn. I think this is also just common from League being a far older game, having 10 years more time to be developed. You do have to know the matchups of 168 different champions. That is a daunting task for a new player. Honestly, just learning how to farm properly is extremely difficult. Having good wave control, objective control, map awareness, and just game sense in general to know where you need to be depending on what is happening in the game. I find it far more difficult to explain a game of League of Legends than to explain a game of Valorant. If someone made me watch their gameplay and asked me to identify why they're losing games, in a game of Valorant, I think I might be able to even with far less hours spent playing the game. In a game of League of Legends, it could be anything. Even sometimes when you go back and watch, you don't even find the mistakes. You're not even sure why you lost that game. And because of that, I'm giving League the win. I tried not to be biased, I really did, but maybe I was. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments below, and let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Talk to you later!